In this video, I'm going to share some tips that you can use if you have a dog that likes to jump the fence. Now, I'm going to give you two solutions, one if it's a four-foot tall chain link fence as well as if it's a six-foot tall privacy fence. Now, aside from the obvious reasons, it's really important you stop your dog from jumping the fence because it can be very dangerous. If it is a six-foot tall privacy fence, most dogs can't jump that. What they're actually going to do is run up the side of it, get a paw over, and then pull themselves over. This is dangerous because they don't know what's on the other side of the fence. If it's concrete, there's a good likelihood that they're going to break a leg when they hit that concrete from jumping from six foot down. But it also all could, there could also be fencing, obstacles, or things that can cause them injury. So it's very dangerous. Now, um, it, chain link fences are also equally dangerous. When dogs jump, the way their anatomy is set up, their front paws are going to extend forward, their back legs are going to also extend forward. So if you have a chain link fence, it's very likely that your puppy or your adult dog can actually get one of its paws caught in the chain link and then be hanging from them. I used to have a Dalmatian named Nesta. He used to climb trees. This happened to him. I was fortunately there. I got him out of the situation, took him immediately to the vet. He had a number of broken bones in his foot and ended up having arthritis for the rest of his life. This happened when it was, he was chasing a rabbit at my grandmother's house, running to the fence. Now, uh, he had jumped the fence at my home and I had used the solution I'm going to go over with you right now to stop that from happening. What we're essentially going to do is extend the length of your uh, four foot fence to a six foot fence without having to refence your entire yard. I'm at Lowe's right now, and you can get this temporary fencing. This is four feet tall. They also have some that's uh, uh, two feet tall. This is, comes in a 50 yard roll. They're about 40 to 60 bucks, depending on uh, uh, how wide it is. And so it's not very expensive. You're also gonna need to get yourself some zip ties as well as some fence some fence posts. Now this is the fence post that I like to use. You can get, there's a number of different ones. You want to make sure it's pretty rigid. I like using these because they're cheaper than the ones that are, have rebarb in it. They have a little bit of a V here if you're looking down the pipe and then you see here at the end they have these little flags. These are designed for when you put it into the ground that you want to make sure you go to the ground. Uh, these are inserted into the ground all the way up to this point. So now you have, this is eight feet tall, so now we have the a building of a six foot tall uh, chain link fence. What you're going to do is you're going to take your privacy or your uh, temporary fencing and again if you have a four foot length this uh, this two feet tall will probably work. You can, it also comes in uh, three feet I believe as well. They don't have any here right now. So you're going to go to your chain link fence and you're basically going to put this on the inside of your fence and have it overlap about the last six or eight inches inside your fence. Make sure that the post and the temporary fencing are the inside of your fence, not the outside of your fence. So you're going to run this the perimeter of your yard. Uh, put your fence post up first. I like to put the fence post as close as you can to the uh, chain link fence. It gives it a little bit of uh, structure and rigidity. You're going to run this along the whole inside of your fence and you're going to take a ton of zip ties and zip it. Make sure you use a, quite a few zip ties. You want it pretty secure. No gaps. Um, so if you have a, a gate uh, for your chain link fence, uh, I would just swap that four foot gate out for a six foot tall one is the easiest solution. So now your puppy is not going to be able to jump over the side of the fence. It's going to see it right there and it's going to stop it from doing that. Now, what if you have a six foot privacy fence? Well, that's what I actually have now. And uh, I have another Dalmatian named Quest who figured out he can uh, run up the side of it and then claw, uh, you know, jump over it and again, I didn't want to get injured. So what you're going to do to, to solve that is you're going to go and get yourself some PVC pipe. Now this is an example of the PVC pipe that you do not want. As you can see, it's pretty thick gauge. This is probably about a quarter of an inch thick. Uh, it'll ruin your saw blades to try to do it that thickness. So you want to get some PVC pipe that's probably about uh, the, as thin a gauge as you can. It comes in 10 foot sections. It's very cheap. I think about 10 bucks for each 10 foot. So it's not that expensive. What you're going to do is you're going to essentially going to uh, take a saw and you're cut the length of the PVC pipe down one side. So it's going to be kind of like a C that's closed. What you're going to do at that point is you're going to go to the top of your privacy fence, you're going to take the PVC pipe and put it on top and you're going to cap the fence. This is now going to, whoops, excuse me Kelly, this is essentially now going to cause, uh, going to have a rounded shape at the top and this is going to prevent your puppy from, or your adult dog from being able to jump up, grab the top of it and pull themselves over. Quest used to jump the fence, as soon as I put the PVC pipe in it, stopped him from being able to jump it immediately. So uh, it's a really easy, quick solution and it's a lot cheaper than well, if you have a wooden privacy fence, there aren't a lot of other options. Options. Again, if your dog is jumping the fence, make sure you get this solution incorporated as soon as you possibly can because the more that your dog jumps the fence, the more they're going to continue trying to do so. If you enjoyed this dog training tip, there are uh, thousands of free dog behavior and training tips at doggoneproblems.com. Remember, everything you do trains your dog, only sometimes you mean it.